Hey everybody, uh, today's quick tip is a CAD feature. Uh, we're gonna find it under the Create 2D menu and it's called Extract Edges. Uh, you'll use Extract Edges when you're working with surfaces and solids where you wanna create wireframe from those surfaces and solid. All right, let's take a look at how we can create some wireframe uh, from this model. Now, as a general best practice, anytime I'm creating wireframe, I like to put it on its own layer. So this way we can isolate the solid model from the wireframe. So we'll go over to the layer manager, right click, add new layer and make it active. As you can see, the solids on one layer and on the other layer, we don't have anything yet, but that's soon gonna change. Now, let's say that we wanna create some wireframe for this top face here. Uh, how would we go about doing that? Well, we'll go to extract edges and then we'll select the face that we wanna work with and then we'll choose okay. I'll cancel out of the function and then I'll turn the solid layer off and now you can see how we've taken that surface and created the wireframe for this. Now, what are some of the reasons why we may want to use uh, wireframe? Well, you may use wireframe for boundary creation. You may want to use wireframe for uh, moving your geometry around or for faster selection. It really just depends on what you're doing. Um, as an example, if we wanted the center of this circle to be on zero, if I turn off the wireframe and I do a translate function, okay, we'll select our model here, and let's say we wanna pick a location. When, when I move my mouse over the surface edge, you can see there's only one location that is highlighted. Okay, the start and the end of that circle. I'm not getting one in the center or at the 0, 45, 90. Now, if I turn on the wireframe layer, and I move my mouse over that geometry, you'll see how all of the other uh, reference point locations will come up, uh, like the, the arc center here. Okay, so that's one reason why you may want to convert to wireframe. Uh, another reason why you may want to convert to wireframe, uh, if when we go to drill all these holes here, you know, we would have to select each individual hole uh, as part of our selection process. Uh, if we break it down to wireframe and we do, let's say, uh, pick and match by radius size, we could select on uh, one of these radiuses and be able to pick them all at one shot, okay? So it can uh, make for faster selection. Now, there are other reasons why you may wanna create wireframe, and uh, there's a couple of other tools that I wanna review real quick. Uh, one of them is, let's say you wanna get all of the wireframe for the solid that you're working with, you can go to Create 2D and Extract Edges from Solids. Uh, we'll select on the entire model here and we'll choose OK. And then what this will do is generate all the wireframe for all the edges. Now I don't find myself typically doing this, uh, but there are advantages of working with all the wireframe at one shot. Now another option that you can use when working with extract edges is extracting the geometry to different Z levels. Okay, uh, as you know, Bobcad uses a, a user coordinate system and it's best if you're working with 2D geometry that it's on the same plane when you're trying to trim or extend or, or uh, some of the editing functions you may get into. Okay, so one of the functions that you have with extract edges is you can use this project to Z plane and this way you can move this geometry from where it's located, you can extract it and have it move up to the Z zero plane so that way, if you need to make any adjustments, you're doing all of the adjustments to that geometry on the same uh, user coordinate system, okay? Now, it's important to understand as well that when you do extract edges from solid, you also have the project to Z plane option so that you can flatten all the geometry in the XY plane. Now, another very useful feature when you've extracted uh, multiple surface edges uh, and projected it to a Z plane is some of the cleanup tools. So we can go to utilities, clean up and optimize. And what this will do is get rid of any double entities that may have been created from the extraction process.